Hey everybody, Ryan Medora here, and I wanted to take this time to show you a little bit about one really cool bass line. Uh, this is Don't Stop Believing" by Journey. Um, if you play or have aspirations to play in a wedding band, a bar band, weekend warrior gigs, whatever it is, or even if you want to get together and jam with people, this is a pretty cool bass line to know. Um, you know, it's something that is played by a lot of people in the band, keyboard parts doing it, the bass is doing it. Um, and it's just like a really fun bass line. One of the reasons why I love it is it really connects a lot of theory concepts and shows you how to um, implement a nice melodic bass line to the chords of the chord progression. And it's just awesome. So we're going to go over it right now, break it down. But um, if you want tab or notation or anything like that, hit up either my True Fire channel or my Patreon page and you can find it there. Um, and there's also all kinds of fun stuff on my website, ryanmedora.com. But in the meantime, uh, let's break down this bass line. So um, I like to think about this bass line in two sections, meaning there's kind of like eight bars or eight phrases, and there's a group of four and then another group of four. So we are in the key of E in this song. And before I get started, I like to think about my scale and what the chord progression is and then how this chord progression works together. So our scale is gonna be E major. I like to play it that way. You might be able to play it this way as well. Um, so if you're using your four fret span major scale pattern, you can kind of start here on the E. But because this bass line takes advantage of, you know, the lower register of the instrument, I like to find the same notes of the scale lower. And I'm going to play E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp, E. And I'm also going to think about this in terms of scale degrees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So as I go through this, um, if I talk in numbers, just know that all of those numbers are associated with the note in the scale, meaning E is the one, F sharp is the two, G sharp is the three, A is four, B is five, C sharp is six, and then D sharp is seven, and then we land back at E, the eight. So as I mentioned before, this bass line is kind of in two sections, meaning that uh, we have a group of four and then another group of four. And that refers to the chord progression. The first four chords go one, five, six, four, or E, B, C sharp, A, C sharp minor actually. So we have E major, B major, C sharp minor, and then A major. And then the next group of four chords is very similar, but we're substituting a G sharp for the C sharp. So we have E, B, G sharp, A. So all together we have E, B, C sharp, A, or one, five, six, four, followed by E, B, G sharp, A, which is one, five, three, four. So just know that that's what it, is um, if we were to play just root notes to this, you should be able to kind of hear the song happen over just the root notes. So if we went like this. hear the song happen over this even though we're just playing root notes. Now the important thing about this is when we think about creating a bass line what we're really trying to do is connect the root notes of the chords that we need to define. So in this situation our chord progression kind of tells us our root notes that we want to hit and then we want to kind of create interesting ways to move through this chord progression which is why we're going to use notes in the scale and come up with an interesting way to kind of navigate these chords in this chord progression. So the first thing that we want to do in our first group of four chords is we need to move from our E to the B. And I'm just going to use that by kind of walking up the scale, but just by skipping the fourth scale degree. So I'm going to go one, two, three, land on five, or E, F sharp, G sharp, and then land on the B. So because our chord progression goes one, five, six, four, you can see that we're starting on the one, we're using the two and the three as passing tones, and then we land on the five. The next chord in the progression is six. And we're gonna do this little move around the six chord, meaning we're gonna play C sharp, D sharp, C sharp, or six, seven, six. 
and that's going to kind of just kind of like take us to the chord, play a little ornament, and return there. So right now our bass line goes like this. Where you can kind of hear how we're putting together our one, passing to the five, six, with an ornamentation, and then we're going to add this. So we're going to add a little seven, eight to the land on the four, or D sharp, E, land on the A. And then to get back to the one, we're actually going to bring that little D sharp, E theme back, and we're going to land on our open E. So again, just know that every time we string notes together with passing tones, we're still ultimately trying to land on the root note of the chord that is making up our chord progression. So we have our one, two, three, five, six, seven, six, seven, eight, four, seven, eight, one, or E, F sharp, G sharp, B, C sharp, D sharp, C sharp, D sharp, E, A, G sharp, E, low E. And that's that first half. So get that under your fingers and then uh, think about adding the second half. Now, when we do this, most of the bass line is going to be the same, but we do have this one substitution where instead of going to our sixth chord, the C sharp, we're actually using a three chord in that place and we're going to go to our G sharp. So we're going to start our bass line the same way. And then we're even going to play our little six, seven again, but we're going to land on the G sharp instead of going six, seven, six, like we did before, we're going to go six, seven, three or C sharp, D sharp, G sharp. So this second half go like this. And then we're going to play this little guy. So we're going to play, once we get to our three, the G sharp, we're going to play D sharp, G sharp, A, and that'll lead us up to our four chord. And then we're going to close it out the same way with a little seven, eight, or D sharp, E, and then play the low E again. So again, I like to think about this as two groups of four, our chord progression going E, B, C sharp, A, and then E, B, G sharp, A, or one, five, six, four, one, five, three, four, and then just changing the bass line just slightly to match these chords. So if you played the whole thing all together, you'd sound like this. And there you have it. That is the main iconic bass line to Don't Stop Believe It. And it's a great way to kind of figure out like, oh yeah, here's our chord progression, here's our scale, this is how you create something, and really this is how you kind of improvise an interesting bass line over a chord progression. You know, so when you think about writing bass lines, this is one of the methods that you can go through where you say, all right, what are my chords? What scale am I using? How can I come up with creative ways to kind of route myself between these chords. So that's it for this lesson today. Um, if you enjoyed it, you can head over to my Patreon page or my True Fire channel for tab and notation, things like that. And then also my website, ryanmedora.com has all kinds of fun educational goodies on it. Uh, please check that stuff out. Happy practicing and keep it groovy.